Let's talk about the muscles of the neck. The neck muscles are divided into three main groups based on function and location. The anterior group includes superficial muscles, suprahyoid and infrahyoid muscles, and prevertebral muscles. Lateral group consists of the scalene muscles, which assist in neck movement and respiration. And the posterior group composed of suboccipital muscles responsible for fine head movements and stabilization. The superficial neck muscles play a key role in facial expressions and head movements. Platysma, a thin, sheet-like muscle that runs from the lower jaw to the upper chest. It helps in facial expressions by tensing the skin of the neck and assists in depressing the mandible. Sternocleidomastoid, a prominent muscle extending from the sternum and clavicle to the mastoid process of the skull. It is responsible for head rotation, flexion, and lateral bending, allowing movements like turning the head and tilting it to the side. The scalene muscles are a group of three paired muscles located in the lateral neck, playing a key role in neck movement and respiration. Anterior scalene muscle runs from the cervical vertebrae to the first rib. It assists in neck flexion, lateral bending, and elevates the first rib during inspiration. And the middle scalene muscle, the largest of the three, extending from the cervical spine to the first rib. It helps in lateral neck flexion and also aids in elevating the first rib for breathing. Posterior scalene muscle, the smallest and most posterior, attaching to the second rib. It contributes to lateral neck flexion and assists in elevating the second rib during forced inspiration. The suprahyoid muscles are a group of four muscles located above the hyoid bone, playing a crucial role in swallowing, speaking, and movements of the tongue and jaw. Mylohyoid forms the floor of the mouth and helps elevate the hyoid bone, tongue, and floor of the mouth during swallowing and speaking. Digastric consists of two bellies, anterior and posterior, connected by an intermediate tendon. It assists in depressing the mandible and elevating the hyoid bone. Stylohyoid extends from the styloid process to the hyoid bone and helps elevate and retract the hyoid during swallowing. And its tendon is pierced by the intermediate tendon of the digastric muscle near the hyoid bone. Geniohyoid runs from the genial tubercle of mandible to the hyoid bone, aiding in jaw depression and hyoid elevation during swallowing. The infrahyoid muscles, also known as the strap muscles, are located below the hyoid bone and include four paired muscles. Sternohyoid extends from the sternum to the hyoid bone, helping to depress the hyoid after swallowing. Sternothyroid runs from the sternum to the thyroid cartilage, aiding in lowering the larynx during speech and swallowing. Thyrohyoid connects the thyroid cartilage to the hyoid bone, assisting in depressing the hyoid or elevating the larynx. Omohyoid, a two-bellied muscle with an intermediate tendon stretching from the scapula to the hyoid, helping to depress and stabilize the hyoid. The prevertebral muscles are deep neck muscles located in front of the cervical spine. Longus capitis, runs from the cervical vertebrae to the base of the skull, aiding in head flexion and stabilizing the neck. Longus colli, a multi-part muscle extending along the front of the cervical spine, responsible for neck flexion, rotation, and maintaining cervical stability. Rectus capitis anterior, a small muscle connecting the atlas to the occipital bone, assisting in head flexion and stabilization. Rectus capitis lateralis extends from the transverse process of the atlas to the occipital bone, 
helping in lateral head flexion and stabilization. The suboccipital muscles are a small group of deep muscles located at the base of the skull. Rectus capitis posterior minor extends from the atlas to the occipital bone, aiding in head extension and fine motor control. Rectus capitis posterior major runs from the second cervical vertebra, or axis, to the occipital bone, assisting in head extension and rotation. Obliqueus capitis superior extends from the transverse process of the atlas to the occipital bone, contributing to head extension and lateral flexion. Obliques capitis inferior connects the spinous process of the axis to the transverse process of the atlas, playing a key role in head rotation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more anatomy insights. See you in the next video.